and we are back. This time we're going to actually talk about the game schedule. I thought I would do it over um, this great video of me going 32 and 6, I think it is, on Nuketown uh, with a little Call of Duty um, 2 action just to give it a little different uh, monotony break there uh, instead of me just, you know, sitting in my chair, you're looking at me and I'm just like, hey, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just let you uh, watch and listen. Um, because, uh, no offense, I play fantastically on this map. Uh, Nuketown is kind of a pain in the butt, but here we go. Um, the games coming out and the games that I'm going to be covering um, are going to uh, vary. And I wanted you to know what was coming up and, and how it was looking of how I'm going to cover things and what I'm actually going to be showing playthroughs of. Um, Secret World playthrough was coming. Uh, I've got a bunch of games on Steam that I'm going to show gameplay of. I've got some free-to-play question marks. Uh, pretty pretty uh, lower known um, to the bigger uh, gaming community uh, MMOs that I'm going to be trying out uh, that are supposed to be uh, pretty fun. Uh, but I want you to also know that I'm going to be covering some AAA games as well. Um, or not even AAA, but, you know, just known games that are coming out. Uh, the Vanishing of Ethan Carter is actually going to be on PC, and I'm going to do a playthrough of that because it looks fantastic. Um, it looks different, at least. I'm hoping that it will live up to the hype, but I guess we're going to find out. Destiny, of course, is coming out on September 9th, uh, which I will be doing a full playthrough of that. I've got it on the PS4. Um, so we're going to actually go through the story and see how it actually um, plays out. From what I hear, the story isn't that long, but maybe I'll put some PvP stuff in there. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the P PvP on that, but we'll see. Um, I know September 16th, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4 comes out, and that's the remastered high-def version. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a playthrough of that because I want to see what the differences are. I want to see... Uh, how and what they've changed and how it looks and, and I think it'll be pretty neat. I mean, we just did the remastered Last of Us playthrough, so why not just do the Grand Theft Auto 5 one as well? I'm hoping that they'll change the PvP, uh, the, like the online stuff. I was going to say PvP stuff, but the online stuff as well. Then September 30th, um, well, let's go back because after, um, the September 16th, the Grand Theft Auto 5, Rise Son of Rome is coming on PC. I don't know if they're adding anything extra in that. I love that game. A lot of people hated on it when Xbox One came out. I would love to do another playthrough with that and actually put it online. I know there's other channels that have that, but I really like that game. I love the story. I love the look of it. It wasn't the best gameplay mechanics, but I think that the actual story... I mean, I love Spartacus, so that's probably what it was, so... Um, after that, September 23rd, Tales from Borderlands is supposed to be coming out, but that thing's been pushed back and moved and stuff. I don't know if it's still coming out then. If it is, we're probably going to be doing a playthrough of Tales of Borderlands. I'd like to, but we'll have to wait and see when it comes out. Shadows of Mordor is actually coming out on PS4, Xbox, um, and all of that. Um, September 30th. I really want to play that, so I'm going to do a playthrough of that. It looks really good. Kind of Assassin's Creed meets Batman Arkham City meets whatever. Um, I don't think there's much else coming out. Um, Tropic of Five is coming out um, after that, um, which leads us into October. Now, October, we're going to be busy. I'm actually going on vacation in October for one week, so I'm going to miss some things. It's going to be in the later of the month, but it shouldn't affect too many uh, gameplays. Um... So, October, man, I'm looking at the list. I just, oh my goodness, you have Alien Isolation coming out. If that lives up to the hype, that's going to be a great horror alien game. It's going to be fantastic. Dra Dragon Age Inquisition, those are a toss-up. The Dragon Age games are a toss-up. I can't tell you what, I can't tell you if I'm going to play it or not. Those games just, I just don't know about them. Also coming out, same day, NBA 2K15. I will be doing a rookie playthrough uh, of that game. So uh, it'll be something for us to watch. Well done. 
Um, what comes on after that? I think it will be Borderlands, a prequel on Xbox and PC. Which, that's what they have on this list. But like I said, I, I don't know what the tells from the Borderlands. I think the tells from Borderlands is the Telltale one, right? And then the Borderlands of Prequels, the actual game itself. Um, also, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Collect, uh, Definitive Edition comes out. I really like Sleeping Dogs. I may use that as an excuse to make another playthrough. What happened in my original play was that I played it all the way to the very end and the game save got corrupted. And I almost lost my mind. I almost lost my mind. There are two driving games coming out in October for PS4. The first one coming out early is is Drive Club on PS4. I really don't know if I'm gonna be playing that. Um, I haven't seen much on it nor kept up with it. The crew I know is coming out. Forza Horizon 2 is also coming out. Um, I'm not real sure if I'm gonna get into those, but I might. I do know that the same day that Forza Horizon 2 comes out that The Evil Within is supposed to come out on the PS4 or around that time. I will be doing a full playthrough of, of the Evil Within. That game looks fantastic. Lords of the Fallen are coming out on um, Xbox One and PS4 also in October. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing that. The only reason is because WWE 2K15 and Sunset Overdrive are coming out. I will be doing a, a career playthrough and also the other modes of playthrough for WWE 2K15 because um, the matches and the DLC and all the other stuff that they're gonna have for that is gonna be really good and it's supposed to be the um, create a player um, Storyline is supposed to be um, back to its normal good self uh, because Yuki and all them took it back over so um, Let's cross our fingers on that. I love a good uh, Wrestling storyline as you can see from some of my other um, games actually that I have uh, played because <laughs> if you look I've got the earlier playthrough of one of them on my channel um, I actually got more of that to put up but I mean a lot of people weren't watching what I did before so I kind of didn't do it that leads us into November November is another big month you have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that yes I'll be doing a playthrough of that and be doing a lot of PvP stuff on that. Um, I'm hoping, because let's face it, Ghost came out. I don't like Ghost, I don't like the level up system, I don't like the choices. So I've kind of gotten away from Call of Duty. But we're hoping that this new Advanced Warfare goes back to being fun like Black Ops 2 was. Or the other Modern Warfares. Then we also have Assassin's Creed unity coming out and there will be a playthrough of that i'll probably be playing through the assassin's creed rogue as well lego batman 3 beyond gotham also comes out so we'll see i don't know if i'll play that one but i may because there's a lot of characters in it the crew is also coming out on ps4 and i don't know i'll have to see because that it just looks weird far cry 4 comes out november 18th we're definitely going to be doing a playthrough of Far Cry 4. I love Far Cry 3. Um, after that, you get into December, and that's a little too far for us right now. So let's just stick with the next couple of months, next two, three months. Um, we'll definitely be looking for Vanishing of Ethan Carter and Destiny. Um, if they haven't pushed back Ethan Carter, I haven't looked. Last time I checked, it was coming out in September sometime, but I don't know when, so we'll see. Um, Dead Rising 3 is coming to PC, but I don't really care about that. Um, Destiny for sure we're getting, um, pretty soon. And then, of course, the Grand Theft Auto stuff. So this month it'll be those two, uh, mixed in with some other stuff. I've also got Gauntlet on PC, so... I might be throwing some gauntlet gameplay in. You never know. It might be a fun game. Me and my friends are going to try it out. Domination. That's pretty much it. So we I'll let you uh, enjoy Security the rest guard. of the video. And I'll um, see you guys online. Alpha. We're winning this fight. Friendly orbital VSAT online. Enemy 
to Bravo. Securing B. Securing B. Be locked down. Losing Bravo. UAV inbound. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Losing Charlie. Securing Bravo. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Securing C. Losing B. UAV inbound. Be advised, hostile counter UAV is online. Losing B. Losing C. All flags secured. Maintain current posture. We lost Charlie. Losing B. Securing C. All flags secure. Maintain current posture. Losing B. Friendly AGR inbound. Losing Alpha. Orbital VSAT awaiting orders. Losing A. Losing C. UAV inbound. Losing Alpha. EMP systems on standby. Counter UAV inbound. We're winning this fight. Securing C. Losing B. Losing A. Securing Charlie. Mission clock about to expire. Losing B. Enemy took B. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Operation complete. Nice job, grunts.